Alright, hello everybody. Um, I was requested to show, um, someone wanted to know how to use Audacity to create uh, Fourier tra uh, transforms series um, and uh, and how to use it to edit sample points. So I'm going to show you now. Alright, so this is Audacity that you're seeing right here. Um, first I'm going to show you how to edit sample points. So we're going to end, we're going to go to generate on the menu here and I'm going to click silence, there's a menu item silence, click that and it'll bring up this track right here, um, this new track that you can edit so we're going to, what we want to do now is we want to go up here, you can see the uh, plus magnifying um, button sitting right there, so we're just going to hit that, hit that a bunch of times and now you got to zoom in pretty close but you'll start to see little tick marks along here, I'm not sure if you can see this uh, from YouTube there but there's little tick marks, uh, actually you know what, let me try expanding, oh that's not going to work but yeah, you, you'll be able to see the individual sample points once you get close enough. And then all you got to do is you click uh, up here. It's I don't think it has a tool tip or anything. But it, it's called the draw tool and it's a little pencil icon. So you click on that and you're able to drag the individual sample points. Um, this is pretty hungry on processor power. So you don't want to get too carried away. But yeah. And um, I'm sure you can imagine you'd have to draw a lot of sample points before you actually got something to sound like that was actually, yeah, more than just like a tick. So if we actually like listen to what a oops, oh brother, you know, how do I dock this? Whatever. Um, so if we select this now and we hit play, you're gonna hear probably shut up. Yeah. Anyway, so that's how you do that. And hang on, I gotta try and figure out how to redock this because this is irritating me. There we go. All right. Um, so second on now is how to create a Fourier um, series, uh, create like a square wave or something using Audacity. Now I'm not going to try and dig out a formula for a Fourier series of like a, anything. I'm just going to show you how to go about doing it. If you've done any considerable amount of math in college, university level stuff, you'll know how to calculate these things. Um, after that, it's just a matter of actually doing them, uh, creating them in Audacity. So first we're going to click and go to Project here on the um, menu. And if we go down, we can see there's an option that says New Audio Track. Uh, you want to click that, and it'll give you an audio track here. So now we're going to go Generate um, Tone. And uh, you can adjust the frequency and the amplitude. Now, one thing you do need to remember, though, is if you have, like, sine of 3T, for example, that's your peer, that's your uh, rather that's your that's omega so it's going to be your angular frequency so you're going to have to multiply that by 2 pi to get your no I'm lying you're going to have to divide by 2 pi to get your uh, frequency in hertz so uh, let's just go with like say a sine wave 200 uh, hertz so we've got it here if we zoom in we can see that it's a sine wave right there let's just make this bigger so you can see it all right um, so we get a 30 second sine wave created there. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to project and hit new audio track again. So you get another audio track down here. Now generate tone. Now you're going to adjust your frequency. Let's go to another even multiple, let's say 400, but the amplitude is 0.5 for example. And uh, we can then zoom in. We can actually shift this. Go to the beginning here. We can actually use, uh, up here there's a tool with two arrows on it, it's called the time shift tool. Click on it and you can actually move your wave. So let's move it so that it is a cosine wave. So the peak is there. Alright, and then you can go back to project, click new audio track, generate, tone, yeah, uh, and the waveforms you can pick between sine, square, and sawtooth. We're obviously going to stick with sine wave here. Uh, say the frequency as 600, or rather double it, 800. I don't know what I'm creating here, I'm just kind of messing around. And the amplitude is 0.25. Obviously your amplitude is going to be what's out in front of your sine, or cosine, either one. Um, that's basically the magnitude of that term in the Fourier series. So here we've got it, and you can shift it, but we're just going to leave it like that. So, now if you s export this, I can't export as mp3 because I, I, I'm missing something. So you can export it as, say, like a WAV file. That's fine. Let's export it to our desktop here as 
for a, um, oh, I don't know, whatever. And hit enter. All right, so now we've saved our file. Um, now let's see what shape we generated. So, oops, rather, cancel, new, open. Uh, where is it? There we go. So if we open our file, we can see that it automatically adds all the sine waves together. Now, I don't know what you would want this kind of a wave for, but uh, there you go. <laughs> um, wow, that's ugly. Yeah, so that's how you do that. Um, I hope that this tutorial was clear enough. I kind of made assumptions about your knowledge in several things before I... Well, that's an ugly sound. Alright, um, I hope this was helpful. If you need any more clarification, please let me know. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys all later. And uh, apologies to anyone who hasn't been able to get a response from me on my previous gun control video. I've been having a really difficult time um, accessing the site. Like, not accessing the site, but it won't update. I open a page and it acts as if I haven't done anything differently. Uh, like, there's no new comments. I know there's new comments there, but they don't show up. So, I don't know what the, the deal is, and it's kind of irritating me, but such is life. Alright, so uh, I'll catch you guys all later.